Well, happy new day, Homestead family. I wanted to ask you something today. Have you ever had a friend that you become so close to that you actually feel like you're family with that person rather than just friends? It's a great thing to have a friendship like that with someone. It's very special. It's a special relationship. And um, I have a friend like that. I'm blessed to have a friend named Tommy. I met Tommy when I was in high school in the 11th grade. And Tommy and I went hunting and fishing together. We just had a blast. And he's a very avid outdoorsman, and so am I. And we just have always been just uh, good buddies, you know, and always had fun together. And then after a few years, you know, after high school, um, we both ended up getting married and getting busy with our lives and our careers and just kind of lost touch with each other. And then I had to end up moving to Virginia, you know, for work. And uh, I lived up there for, you know, over 20 years. And we, um, we lost touch with with each other. I actually lost touch with everybody I knew in Florida except my immediate family. But uh, after me and Nancy were married up there in Virginia and uh, we both retired, we moved back to Florida, Tommy saw us on uh, our homestead Facebook page, Hollis and Nancy's Homestead, and he reached out to us. And uh, we were delighted. I was uh, delighted to hear from him. And we hooked up, got together, and went out to eat and met each other, kind of met each other again, really. And we uh, rekindled our, our relationship. And uh, it's a different relationship now because we're old. <laughs> but uh, he, his wife, Terry, and my wife, Nancy, they're, they're pretty good friends. They get along real well. Me and Tommy get along real well. We go out to eat dinner as, as two couples, and we just have fun. We go to visit each other at each other's home and uh, we eat dinner with each other all the time. And um, Tommy's the kind of guy, he, he calls me and checks up on me almost every day just to make sure I'm okay and how I'm doing, if I need anything, and I do the same for him. And uh, he's the kind of guy that will just do anything in the world for you. You, you don't even have to ask. He figures you need something, and, he, buddy, he's there. He is truly the kind of a friend that I call my family and uh, Tommy is a good friend of mine. Now, um, me and Ta me and Tommy and Nancy, we, we've been fishing together. He's got a boat, I got a boat. We go together in the two boats and uh, Tommy's been taking me and Nancy to some pretty cool fishing places around here that I, I wasn't familiar with, I didn't know about them. Uh, but Tommy knows this area like the back of his hand. He grew up here and he spent his whole life here fishing so he's a very good at what he does and um, he, he's told me and Nancy about some real good places and not only told us about them but taking us over and said here it is marked out on your GPS <laughs> so he's done a lot to help us along and we're, we've had a blast together fishing and um, a couple a couple of months ago he uh, he, he reached out to me and said, hey man, I want to go over to Orange Lake and uh, fish for uh, specks. Uh, well, mo most people call that crappie up north. Uh, down here in Florida, we call that speckled perch, or down here we call them specks. And uh, he, he just loves spider rigging, the same as me and Nancy. We both have spider rig setups on our boats, and we fish um, several seasons now together in separate boats, but we just haven't fished at Orange Lake together for some reason or another. We were always fishing somewhere else. But I said, oh yes sir, we'd be delighted to go to Orange Lake with you. It kind of gives me a chance to return the favor of uh, him showing us somewhere to fish. I get to show him somewhere. And um, really Tommy doesn't need much more instruction than here's how I navigate out and uh, basically this is where I start my trolls and this is what the bottom looks like in this general area and after three minutes of instruction Tommy doesn't need me to tell him how to catch fish he just wants to know what where the area is that's generally conducive to holding fish at this time of the year when they start to school up um, you know during the pre-spawn so uh, that's what the plan tomorrow is. We want to meet over at the ramp and take the two boats out and uh, troll around out in Orange Lake and see if we can't catch us up with a nice mess of fish. And Tommy can kind of familiarize himself with Orange Lake a little bit so he can uh, return 
over there and fish all he wants. So if this sounds like something that you may want to do and, you know, hang out with us tomorrow and just enjoy a nice day out on the water, relaxing with a, a real good friend, we'll meet you tomorrow down at the ramp. See you then. <laughs>
Well, we sure had fun today, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Oh man, what a good time. <laughs> good memories. Yesterday I was telling y'all, Tommy's the kind of guy, you don't have to teach him how to fish, you just gotta show him how to get to the ramp. And that's what we did the day within three minutes. Tommy had a great day. He caught 25 fish and me and Nancy caught 22. So he caught more than me and Nancy put together and to rub salt in the wound, he caught the biggest fish of the day. You yeah, show them your big fish. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yep. Yeah. That's a nice one. That's a beauty. We just measured it real quick right here and found it. We put it on the uh, the little scale hood that make keeps everybody honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's 14 and a half inches, which is not a bad fish at all. And the water temperature today was still about 80 degrees. 80, so, yeah. so it was pretty warm. But our, our best fishing days are still ahead oh, of us. It's just gonna get better every day, as long yeah. as these temperatures will stay cool in the morning. Mm -hmm. That's right. We had a great day with my good friend here, and we, um, we're gonna clean these fish up. We're gonna fillet all Tommy's, and how do you want yours? You want whole fry? I want filet with the skin on. Skin, okay. Because it makes And then uh, whole fry the little ones for uh, Bing Bing, right? Yep, the little ones for Bing Bing. Okay, well, everybody's got their order put in, so let's get together and uh, get this stuff cut up and uh, ready for the freezer. And uh, and tell me and Nancy and Tommy see you another day on a on another out on the water on another fishing video. We just hope that you had fun today, tagging along, and had a restful day, just at peace, out on a beautiful water that God made today on Orange Lake. Orange Lake. So until me and Nancy see you next time. Always remember, by his hands we're fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Have a blessed day.